Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different one. I'm going to be talking about my hair, so if you're not really interested in my hair then there will be more beauty videos on their way. So recently obviously I have dyed my hair grey, um, I think it was uh, just before kind of Christmas time. Well actually I've wanted grey hair for ages and ages and ages, like I started off having kind of like lilac-y hair and then when that faded it kind of faded to like a light kind of silvery colour but I'd always wanted to have like proper like grey hair, mostly because I was inspired by Evelina Forcell I think is her name. Hopefully this will clear up some questions if you have any about my Hair. So basically, I'm gonna start from the beginning. When I was about like 14, I started dyeing my hair myself because I always wanted to go blonder, but my hairdresser, because she was a family friend, she was like, I'm not gonna bleach your hair because it will ruin it. So when I was 14, I used this stuff called Sun In, which I do not recommend like at all. It's basically like a spray in bleach, and then you dry your hair with a hair dryer or straighten it, and it makes it lighter, but it is so damaging. And it turned my hair kind of like a banana yellowy orange color, which is, it just, it didn't look good. It was like the most artificial kind of orangey blondy sort of colour. I'll try and like insert a picture. Oh and I forgot to say at the start of this my natural hair colour was this. I will insert a picture. If you watch from the beginning of my channel my hair was pretty much its natural colour then. Um, so like my first few videos and stuff so yeah if you're interested go and check those out even though they suck. So from the age of about 14 I've been using various like blonde box dyes and stuff. I then kind of grew out all of my hair because it was a really dodgy colour and I wanted to kind of start afresh and I then started dyeing it again myself when I was about 18. So so when I was 18 I just had this like craving for like lilac or purple hair so what I did is I bleached it myself using I don't know first off I used a few box dyes but they didn't really work that much and then I went on and bought some bleach on Amazon and actually bleached my hair myself which was not really a good idea because that was when my hair started getting really really damaged and I did actually lose a few bits of hair like when I started bleaching it myself a few bits underneath kind of like snapped off and they're still like really short today I've got like some really really short bits under here so once I bleached my hair myself it was like a terrible yellow colour um, and I did the ends like purple and turquoise don't recommend the turquoise, it never washed out ever I had like a green stained ends of my hair pretty much like for about six months and I ended up cutting off five inches of my hair because I just could not get the green out, even like bleaching it multiple times my hair was still green. But anyway, that's like another story. Um, I've had it like pink. So after I did bleached it myself, I did it in a kind of balayage style, but then I decided that I wanted to be like all over lilac. So I went to the hairdressers, I had it bleached with Olaplex and that was like last November, I think, when my hair was pretty much white. I did a video about like my new hair. So I got it to that kind of like white color and then since then I've just been going for like root touch-ups um, and I've just been getting my roots done and again and again and again and even though I've used Olaplex um, I've just found that bleaching my hair every few months has really kind of taken a toll on it since I started bleaching my hair I would say I've lost about a third of my hair's thickness my hair used to be really thick just in general like I've lost quite a lot of hair I have started to get this little bit in the middle of like I don't know, you can't really see I don't think, but I have all these like kind of strands that just kind of stick up in the middle of my hair because they've broken off from the bleach, um, which kind of sucks, um, and then like I said I'll try and find some, I've got all these like kind of short thin bits underneath my hair that have just kind of broken off and just tail off into nothing, um, I'm going to try and find some. Yeah, see like this bit is a lot shorter than like the rest of my hair. Um, on this side I've got quite a lot as well, just like all these like short bits that have broken off. Uh, they're kind of growing back a bit now, but they're not as long as like the rest of my hair. So that is why I've taken the decision to stop bleaching my hair for now. I'm going to try and grow it out into, into a kind of ombre balayage thing and I'm just not going to go back to the hairdressers to get my roots done again and again. And also, I'm really happy with this grey colour and I feel like this grey colour at the moment kind of blends in a lot more with my roots than it did when my hair was kind of like whitey blonde. So that kind of explains why I'm gonna stop bleaching my hair. I just wanna give it a bit of a break and I would actually quite like to grow it onto like an ombre. Uh, if you've seen Perry Edwards hair from Little Mix, 
I absolutely adore her hair and she's got like the first half of it kind of her natural colour and then she's got like some balayage bits I don't know if it's still like that but around Christmas time she had her hair like that and I really want to try and grow my hair out into something similar so I can still do like kind of fun colours on the ends and have it kind of like silver and grey or purple or whatever I choose um, so that's what I'm going to do oh and another thing that I just want to say is before I started bleaching my hair my hair was really really curly um, I'll insert some pictures now but since I bleached it so many times the curls have just kind of completely gone well it, my hair's still kind of wavy when I wash it and the bits underneath have grown out they go kind of curly but it's just not the same as it used to be like even though I condition it and stuff it just the curls never really came back so that's another thing to consider but yeah this is the current state of my hair I straighten it pretty much all the time um, and it is this kind of silvery color so what I actually use to get this color is this this is by a brand called Maki Professional. I got this on eBay, it was £10. I will link down below the seller that I got it from. And this is called Hair Colouring Mask with Sun Filter and it is in the colour grey. Um, they do do a silver one of these which is kind of like a lilac-y sort of colour and it's more of like a toner. Whereas this one, as you can see, like this here, is part of the bottle that you can see through. It's a really, really dark colour, like it's nearly black. Let me get a bit on my finger. So I don't know if you guys can see the colour of this. It's kind of just like a really dark grey, blacky purple. So what I do with this is obviously you could just uh, take this whole bottle and put it all over your head and have like a really, really dark grey. But what I do is I get a big like kind of takeaway container that's been like cleaned out. I put in loads and loads of conditioner in there. Basically, you want to put in as much conditioner that you will need to cover your whole head. So I normally use like a full bottle of conditioner. I just get whatever brand is cheap. Make sure it is white conditioner because then it kind of like dilutes the color. You don't really want it to be like yellow or kind of pinky. Just try and get like a plain white conditioner. It can be a really, really cheap one. You want to squirt pretty much the whole bottle if you have like long hair, quite long hair like me. You want to squirt the whole bottle into a tub and then basically just squeeze in uh, as much as I want until the color looks about right. I I do actually have a clip that I did from one of my vlogs where I was like re-dyeing my hair grey um, and I did show you how much I kind of squeezed in uh, but I would say that I've used this about ugh, like three or four times and it's about down to here I think. Just basically keep adding it in small quantities and seeing like if the colour is right. You can always do like a test on one of the strands of your hair to see if it's gonna like turn out right or whatever and then I just leave it on my head for like I don't know like 20, 30, 40 minutes depending on how strong you want it to be. But the great thing about this is I know you guys are gonna be like yeah but so if you don't you're not bleaching your hair but you're dying it every few weeks. This is pretty much just conditioner. It has no peroxide in it or anything so it's not gonna damage your hair at all. Just think of it pretty much like food colouring. It's like a hair mask as it describes it, but it's just had some colour added in. It's basically just like adding conditioner into more conditioner and then putting it all over your head. So every time like I dye my hair, my hair is really, really soft and this doesn't damage your hair at all. So you don't need to worry about that. But obviously if you do want to have this kind of colour hair, you will need to bleach your hair quite a bit to get it like really, really pale before you put this on top. Otherwise it's not really going to work. And if you're wondering how I maintain it, I actually only wash my hair once a week, which I know some of you are going to be like, oh my God, that is gross. But I've washed my hair once a week uh, since like I started bleaching it pretty much. Uh, and I basically kind of trained my hair to not be washed as, as much. Like if you do research into it, it's actually bad for your hair to wash it every day. So I try and wash it as little as I can and I just, you know, dry shampoo or whatever. Um, and if you do some research into that, then you'll like discover all the good things it does for your hair. Um, so yeah, I wash my hair once a week and when I wash it I use the Bleach London Silver Shampoo which is really really good, that's what I used before I had my grey hair. Um, what else? That's pretty much all I do in terms of my hair. I wash it once a week, um, I try not to kind of scrub too much at like the ends and stuff um, just because I don't want the colour to kind of wash out. I also wash my hair using cold water, I always lean over the bath and just stick my head in the bath and I have like a detachable shower thing and I wash my hair in cold water because if you use hot water it like opens your hair molecules, molecules? Like follicles, that's the word. I think it like opens your hair follicles or something and you're more likely to lose some of the hair colour. So I always make sure I wash my hair using cold water and that is pretty much it. So I think I've pretty much covered everything. One thing I will say is it does wash out quite quickly. Um, so I tend to redo it every like three weeks pretty much, um, which 
for me is fine like it doesn't really take that long to be honest it takes about an hour in total to do myself um, which I'm fine with like it's quite high maintenance if you're gonna be washing your hair kind of every day I think it would probably wash out within like I don't know a week maybe um, but yeah I haven't actually let it fully wash out yet so I can't tell you how it will kind of be if it fully washes out ever really but I just really enjoy having kind of grey silver hair so I like it at this colour and then when it fades a little bit I also really like the colour of that so yeah that is what I'm using on my hair at the moment so I hope this kind of cleared up some of your questions if you were wondering how I got my hair this colour and a little bit of history about my hair if you have enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up I will link uh, this down below I'm not sure if you can get it in every single country but I don't know. There's also another brand that makes one exactly the same as this, but it's got like a different brand name on it. Um, so yeah, I'll link that down below as well. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if you have any suggestions for like getting grey or silver hair and we can all kind of help each other out. And yeah, I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.